Well, what's happening everybody? Hopefully this video finds you well and just a little bit of a public service announcement for everyone out there. If you haven't heard by now, this iconic music store Sam Ash is closing its doors after almost a hundred years plus years of being in service to the guitar and other musical instrument community. It's one of the first big box stores that I ever went into and it's kind of sad. But what's even more sad is that there's people that are looking to take advantage of this untimely closing and trying to scam you out of your hard earned dollars. Basically, if you haven't noticed, there's a lot of things that might be clogging your Facebook feed. These ads, they even come up as being that they're verified. But when you actually look into them a little bit further, there are things that were just created overnight. And Sam Ash has come out and even had to publicly say that they are only showing their true sales on their official sites. If it's not Sam Ash, it's garbage. When you actually look at the Sam Ash site, it's verified. There's a lot of likes and followers. The date will go back to of the posts. There's a lot of them out there. You know, it's not just from May 13th or even going back to, you know, a certain time. And the link at the top looks authentic. It's not some .uk or .co or .whatever, what have you. That's the first thing to look out for. And then you may see one that be, may have been created back in 2021 because they've been scamming people for a while, but they only have a thousand likes. That's not really true of Sam Ash. And also only one post of a Peapod from 2021. That probably gives you a clear sense that that's not really Sam Ash and what they're all about. Some of them have zero likes and followers. The link is, you know, for from a Google tummy, tummy games, not really sure what that is, but I'm not clicking on a link like that. Hopefully you haven't done so already. Unfortunately, Facebook really isn't looking out for you. And you can tell that this, like basically all these links are from or posts are from May 13th when around the time that they kind of said they were closing their doors, but then they just keep on replicating if Facebook takes them down because you report them and they don't do anything about it. They say it doesn't go against their guidelines. One thing to look out for though is that some of the sites are actually from the legitimate stores themselves in their location. They created their own pages. So you have to be mindful of that, that it actually, even though it doesn't look like it's the official store, Sam Ash itself, it's the local store. They're gonna have a lot of reviews, likes, and things like that. Be mindful of that. Some of them, you know, they have like 112, 114 likes. The posts have been going back for a while because they saw the writing was on the wall and they took advantage of that and made posts ahead of time. And then you have some that claim to be wholesale. Again, Sam Ash has stated that they're only selling their stuff on their website. If it looks like it's too good to be true, it probably is. Some of these things you see a Gibson Les Paul going for $29, that's not happening. Sam Ash, they probably would sell it to their competitor for $500 off if that was the case and the competitor makes the money off of it. But they're not selling you a, a Gibson uh, Les Paul for $29 or a Fender Stratocaster for even $100. Most of the sales seem like right now, they're not really saving too much money. They might be $100 off, $200 off. I have in person, there's not one around me where I live now that I can go out to the store itself. Maybe they're cheaper in the store. Hopefully this helps you out from not getting scammed and also gets those scammers the boot. Unfortunately, it's a sad time, but these are the way things go. I hope this helps prevent you from getting scammed. You've been a fantastic audience. And as always, stay tuned.